There's a wiggly bit. <laughs> what, a, what an absolutely fantastic morning. I'm buggered. Well, I'm doomed. Better shop from there if you want to Good morning and uh, welcome to another video. Um, Kirkham Abbey um, this morning in a delightful December morning. It's still misty by the banks of the River Derwent here. What I'm going to do today um, is going to be a, a video between Moulton and uh, probably Kirkham Abbey, just along the, the section. It's the line between uh, York and Scarborough. It's the bit where it curves. If you look at a railway map, it's relatively straight uh, from York for, uh, along the plains of York and then from Scarborough it's relatively straight along the plain of Pickering. But in the middle there's a wiggly bit where the railway line follows the contours of the River Derwent and I'm just going to concentrate along there. There's a few mechanical signal boxes and, uh, and Class 68's running as well. So. Uh, it's a day, December, it's a short day, um, it's not really got light yet, but uh, I'll see what I can make of today and, uh, uh, and see how this goes. So, hope you enjoy it and uh, let's go. I'm walking now from uh, Kirkham Abbey on the way towards uh, Moulton. It's uh, following the course of the railway line. I don't know if you can see in the distance there, there's a nice semaphore signal, which is good to see. Plenty of curves on this line, but uh, I was hoping there'd be some long distance views over the valley, over the Derwent, but uh, I think I'll have to wait for the fog to, uh, to lift before we see anything. Right, onwards. Probably got about 20 minutes before the next uh, couple of trains. I think there's a 68 coming back from Scarborough and probably a unit coming out of York. And I've just got to find a, a composition somewhere. Um, plenty of spots, not a shortage, but just trying to find something that looks good in the mist. So uh, I'm just going to keep walking towards Moulton for probably another 10 minutes and see, uh, see what pops up there. But uh, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Right. I'm buggered. I've just run back from uh, Castle Howard Station and I've just missed the unit that I was hoping to get. There's a couple of long shots but um, it's too misty so uh, what I wanted to get was the river and some hills in the distance but the, the mist hasn't cleared. 
So I'm going to have to go for a tighter shot along the line here. So I've just missed the unit and I'm waiting for the 68 to come out of Scarborough on its way to York, which is on the back of it. So it's going that direction. Um, I'm focusing to start with on the, the semaphore, if I can see that in the distance. And that will give, obviously give me some indication that it's on the way. Um, I think we've got a, a couple of minutes though. Oh. Right, I'm glad I put my wellies on. Uh, just walking down towards the banks of the River Derwent um, from Kirkham, Kirkham Abbey, working towards uh, Moulton. There's a nice sweeping bend along the banks of the river that uh, I'm just going to try and get that 68 that's coming back out of York uh, towards Scarborough. So uh, I've got about five minutes to walk along the river bank, find a spot, and uh, I need to sit down now. <laughs> Now this is rather embarrassing. I've just pulled off the road at um, Howsham Crossing. Uh, and I was just trying to get further off the road and I've slipped in the mud and I can't get back out. So uh, why did I get rid of my four wheel drive? I don't know. Uh, right, I've got to work out. I'm going to get the car out of this mud. So I'll keep the camera rolling. It might be some light entertainment so we'll uh, we'll see how we're going to do this i've got a couple of blankets that's the only thing i've got there's nobody else with me so it's a couple of blankets i'll try and get them under the wheels and i'll see if i can get out of the mud but uh, not what i had planned right see how we go on Well, I'm doomed. Oh, look. Right, we'll have a break from this. The reason I came here to get a Class 68. So, uh, I'll stop this. And uh, I've just heard the horn at uh, Kirkham Abbey. So, uh, I'll stand out the way. I had a few ideas for doing some shots around here, maybe i get out on the next train. Right, let's watch the 68. Come on, I just need somebody to come and give me hand to push, that's all it wants. Just a little bit of push and it'll be up there. I've not seen a car go past on this road. I think there's only a, somebody comes past every Tuesday. Oh, 
Yeah, yeah. It, it is. I just pulled off the road and I got further and further down there. Yeah, and, and then you just go, oh no. A passing uh, friendly DHL man did the honours, so uh, thank you DHL. Right, I'm going to get washed and I'm going to put the kettle on. And then there's a, uh, I think it's Liverpool Lime Street to Scarborough. I'm not sure whether this is a 68, I've lost all track of uh, workings at the moment now but I'm just going to try and get some shots around the uh, the level crossing and there's a couple of semaphores I might be to build them into a shot somehow uh, and then uh, I'll pick up the rest of the day but uh, that was a half an adventure wasn't it I'm relieved that I'm out of the mud uh, you might get a better shot from there if you want to catch the signal and the train coming to it right okay you'll have to re-up though I'm coming <laughs> Right, I'm going to risk it, I'm going to leave that bugger there. What a bummer at Howsham Crossing. Um, memory card full. It was a 68 on the Liverpool to Scarborough. But uh, after all that palaver with the flaming car, <laughs> I'd used up all my uh, card capacity. OK, I've made it to Barton Hill signal box. Uh, there's a couple of semaphores on view, but the ground level view isn't that great. The crossing gates are too far back, so you can't get a, a decent uh, ground level shot. I'm going to go stand on the A64 road bridge, which is incredibly noisy and looks very busy, but um, hopefully there's a decent shot from up there. setting up for the last train of the day which is a 68 coming out of Scarborough the locomotives on the right end this time um, so hopefully there's enough light probably got another 20 minutes and the, the light may have gone by then but let's see what we can make of it and this will be the final shot of the day so there we are um, another day another trip I, uh, I end it in the place where we started this morning um, with a a little less mist and a little bit more mud but uh, it's been a fun day I've enjoyed it and if you've enjoyed it then please uh, comment uh, like thumbs up whatever it is um, and if you're not subscribed subscribe because I've got plans for some more uh, railway uh, photography trips out so uh, if you li like this kind of thing uh, subscribe and uh, and it's greatly appreciated is that so uh, once again thank you for watching I uh, hope you've enjoyed it and I shall see you on the next one. Okay, bye-bye.